Seven minutes past eight. Good morning. Now, a team of amateur cyclists from the south who received a special send-off from the Pope on their Rome to London charity ride have raised almost £70,000 for Cancer Research UK. Andrew Gibson from Chilbolton and Lionel Jones from Winchester join me. Let's start with you, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning, Alan. Tell me a little bit about this ride. Um, it was... Um... 2,300 kilometres. Um, it was probably the toughest ride I've ever done. We we included, uh, uh, because our motto is ordinary people doing extraordinary things, um, both the meeting with the Pope and the um, cycle up the uh, notorious Stelvio mountain uh, were both, both phenomenal. We don't normally mention people's ages, Andrew, if we can help it, but your team have volunteered your age forward. Uh, and it says on my screen here that you're 74. Is that true? Absolutely. I'm a 40s baby. Well, that's, were you the oldest of the group? Um, yeah, but I mean, the group, um, you know, we've been doing this uh, for quite a while and uh, many of the group are uh, uh, not far behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nicely done. <laughs> right, Andrew, stay there. Uh, Lionel Jones joins me. Uh, Lionel, you're not close behind. <laughs> Andrew throwing the whole team under the bus there. You're famously in the news. You lost some bikes. That's that's right. Yeah, thank you for having us on, Alan. Um, yeah, we we split groups into two. So Andrew was part of the advance party that started from Rome. Um, and then a number of us, or the, the vast majority, were joining from Milan. And um, so we had, myself was driving the support vehicle down to Milan, but a lot of them, we have 14 cyclists flying from London to Milan. Uh, when they got there, only three bikes had turned up, which caused a bit of panic and trauma for the rest of us on what are we going to do? Because it's tricky to do a charity bike ride without bicycles. Yes, that is a key element. Is it a case of you jump on social media, the airline pick up on it and try and sort it like wildfire because they don't want the media attention? Essentially, yes. I mean, there was a lot of panic. What the heck's going on? How could this happen? Because we'd we'd specifically booked the flights through through the airline on the understanding that the bikes would be guaranteed to be delivered. Um, but yeah, it, exactly that. We got onto social media, a lot of help from Cancer Research UK and and yourselves and the BBC to ask awkward questions of the airline who, to their credit, were working in the evening, helping us out and ensuring the bikes were delivered the next day. Yeah. So that in meant a way, these cyclists... Yeah, I was going to say, in a way, and I, I don't mean this negatively, but in a way it added to the um, attention and the fundraising and the drama of what you were doing and it sort of turned a, a negative into a positive, particularly because BA managed to locate those bikes and, and sort it out. Uh, Andrew, back to you. I'm fascinated as to how you arrange a meeting with the Pope. Uh, <laughs> um, I think you... Um, the, the Pope, uh, the Vatican is a country, so they have ambassadors in... Uh, uh, in other countries, they certainly have an ambassador in London, who is uh, an archbishop, and um, and I just went through his office, uh, explained what we were doing, got a very very uh, positive response from the nuncia um, in London, and uh, Father Nathan was particularly helpful, and we were sponsored by um, uh, Bishop Philip um, Egan who is the uh, Roman Catholic uh, Bishop for Hampshire, um, who uh, is based in uh, Portsmouth, and he sponsored us. And um, it, it came to fruition. But um, what I thought was most important was because the, um, the bishop had sponsored us and because the nuncio was so helpful, when we uh, actually uh, were in Rome, um, we were announced uh, on t a couple of occasions by different speakers. So, you know, we, we became an event and uh, the Pope seemed very interested in what we were doing. And the audience were, were cheering us for our efforts. So yeah. it's a wonderful experience. Amazing pictures. I mean, slightly odd as well in your cycling gear. Andrew, on a personal note, is it slightly overwhelming when you meet the Pope 
or are you the kind of character that takes these things in your stride and it's the pope and that's nice but i've got other things to do kind of thing um no i take things in my stride um i don't think any of us were so much overwhelmed as as completely i mean i'm a roman catholic my mother was um a devout Roman Catholic, and she's dead now, but she she would have been over the moon uh, at the sight of my my meeting the Pope. Um, and it's, it's the highlight of my life because, um, you know, as a Roman Catholic, it, it, it it's something that's 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 fantastic to to have been able to do. But I mean, the it, it was it was a out of world experience, and uh, it's certainly a highlight of my life. I bet it was. Andrew, thank you for your time. Lionel, to finish, um, a little finish then about how much you've raised where the money's going. Should we finish on that note? Yes, yeah, certainly. So for this ride so far, we've just broken £70,000, um, which is outstanding. Um, you may be aware we've, we've run various events over the years since 2010. Um, so... Up until the beginning of this ride, we'd raised over 370. So we're now up to, what's that, 440. Our overall target when we set this up was to get half a million. So we're getting closer and closer towards that. All this money is going to Cancer Research UK. Um, many of us have been affected by cancer in different ways. Uh, when we set this up, I was helping a friend whose wife had died of breast cancer. I didn't realize that back then, you know, in 2017, my wife died of, of cancer and she had a, a soft tissue sarcoma for which there are very few um, treatments at the moment and it's vital that we keep supporting cancer research to help them continue doing their work so that others don't have to suffer the way that, that some of us have. It's extraordinary what you've done. Uh, it is a, a perfect combination of that challenge, the joy, the fun, and also the heartbreak and the pain and the reason that you're doing it. And so many people do uh, go out to make a difference. Uh, Andrew Gibson from Chill Bolton and Lionel Jones from Winchester. You can follow them online as well. Plenty in the news. You only have to put the charity cycle and the Pope in to find it at the moment. Uh, Rome to London for Cancer Research UK. It's quarter past eight. <laughs> The sound.